rain still falling. Attention. Go. So off we go in the Forley Challenge Cup. Windsor Boys School on the Berkshire Station, Hinksy Sculling School on the Buck Station. Picking from that start, Sarah. I say it every time I think I watch um, either the Forley or the Diamond Jubilee, I'm always so impressed about the, the capability and the composure um, of these junior athletes, particularly in this coxless event, the quad skull. I mean, they were straight as narrow, Hinksy School coming out of the box there. These are not easy conditions to row in, and as we were talking about the flow in the stream a little earlier, and we have seen crews really struggle with that, but you would have no indication of that watching these two boats off the line. Incredibly mature racing, and, and what a match-up we have here between the Windsor Boys School and Hinksy Sculling School. Currently, the Windsor Boys just with a narrow early race lead here, but we've seen in... Both of the races that we've seen so far, some, some change. Oh, actually, no, not in the Wargrave. Tam's left from start to finish, but we've certainly seen some chopping and changing in the leads uh, in these races. So let's see how this unfolds down the track. Does Hinksy Sculling School have a response for the Windsor boys? There's a lot going on in a quad, isn't there? There's no cox, as you say, and you've got, obviously, uh, technically, it's quite a difficult one to execute. And it is incredible skill levels from 17 year olds 18 year olds in both these boats windsor boys school pushing a lead here out to more than the length bit of clear water here james harlow in the bow seat for windsor boys school these are the start his boat have had i'm sure it's a good start from them isn't it but on the barcher station they've pulled a decent lead here just can they retain that lead and James Harlow, who you just mentioned, his father won the Britannia for Maidenhead back in 1985. Excellent year, 1985, I must say. Um, but he uh, also, uh, James, this is, won the under-19 British trials, won the head of the trials, won the championship quad at Nat Schools two years in a row and semi-finalist last year in the first junior quad to break the six minutes over 2K. So uh, an exceptional record, James Harlow in, uh, in the bow seat with two previous Henley Royal regattas under his belt as well. In 1985 vintage, though. 1985 vintage. How did you guess? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you're at least 10 years younger than me. So the Windsor Boys School heading down to the midway point of the race, and they've got themselves a good lead. And you can see through the boat, James Harlow, we're just talking about Ruben Taylor, Joseph Wellington, and Attica Shoot, good strong athlete, 18-year-old Attica Shoot. He's had a couple of previous Henley Royal regattas, but when you're 18 and you've already had two previous Henleys, and I'm wondering what the fact that they've had so much previous success does for them as well, it, whether it gives them confidence or whether it's a bit of a burden to try and continue that legacy for Windsor Boys School. I mentioned they'd won it a couple of years ago, and 2018 and, and 2017. Could be a burden, couldn't it, having all that success to follow? You can certainly have that pressure and expectation, especially when there's been such a strong record at the school. You want to be able to carry on that legacy, uh, but there's there's no doubt that they're doing that today. I mean, look at the Windsor boys school looking really aggressive. They're sitting back. They They've been handling the blustery conditions earlier in the week really, really nicely. So they've progressed through some difficult conditions on Thursday and Friday, um, but looking incredibly strong here. Hinksy Sculling School still desperately trying to get back onto terms, but they've now got a really big job to do to be able to do that. They were third at the National Schools, third at the head of the river, and second and fourth at London Met second at Wallingford, so incredibly strong uh, boat, but a really tough matchup here, of course, with the Windsor Boys School, who've absolutely taken this race and uh, looking at not giving up any ground. Yeah, Windsor Boys School there, backing up a good heat yesterday against Hartbury College. And can they continue? It'll be still nerve-wracking for all of the connections to the Windsor Boys School. Pinksy Sculling School beat Los Gatos 
of the USA yesterday. And there they are trying to find some way back into this race, but there's a lot to do. Still quite a long way of the race to go. It's not time that's the issue, but Windsor boys got class act. And in the stroke seat of the Hinksy boat, Toby Harris at uh, J16, he coxed in the Britannia Challenge Cup uh, to a semi-final in 2022. So coxed uh, here and now stroking this quad for Hinksy. But we can see there uh, the back of James Harlow that we were speaking about earlier from the Windsor Boys school. Yeah, Windsor Boys just looking at their blade work. Very neat and tidy despite the fact they uh, will be physically feeling the pain now at this stage of the race. Grueling. Let's have a look at the Hinksy boat, how they're getting on. Have they got anything else to give? Jim Turnbull there, you can see, working hard to try and get back into contention. It's his second Henry Royal Regatta. Glance behind from Max Campbell Reed in two seat there. Trying to find some motivation, some crumb of comfort, some hope there, but at the moment, Windsor Boys School just keep pouring on the pressure. And are the races, I've talked about the pain at this stage of the race, Sarah, where are we? Day five, aren't we, of this Henry Moore regatta? So they've had a few rounds previously. Does that make these races more painful physically? You know on that energy and perhaps feeling it a bit more at this stage? rather than on the first day when you should be fresh. Well, it's interesting because I think it's actually more painful earlier on. You're sort of a bit race hardened by this point with a few races under the belt, but certainly what's creeping in at this point is the fatigue and not just the fatigue of the racing, but of going through that whole uh, getting yourself up for racing, the race warm up psychologically in the zone. That I think is what builds day on day. Uh, and then you get into Saturday, Sunday, and you're getting pretty tired. So it's general weariness rather than actual race tiredness. That was certainly my experience. Yeah. Well, Windsor Boys School have got a final to look forward to in the fall league tomorrow. Yet again, Windsor Boys School delivering under the pressure of a semi final. Such a good legacy in this particular event for Windsor Boys, and they're through to try and regain the crown. Well done to them. Last year's winners, Leander. They'll be having a look at that as well. We'll find out who Windsor Boys School are up against a bit later on, but that's the end for Hinksy Sculling School, who put in some really good performance.